Let's talk about parcel sticks. Now, parcel sticks are very similar to pan parcels in lots of ways, but rather than being in a cake tin, a round flat tin, they're in a stick, as you'd imagine, around about the size of your finger. Now, they have their advantages and disadvantages, but a real big advantage is the massive variety of colors that they come in. They're by far the most colors, much more than the pencils or the pans as well. Let's talk a little bit more and let me show you some pastel sticks so you can become a bit more familiar with them. But they're a supply you don't need to have. Okay, you can do all the lessons with just pencils, as I've already mentioned. But the beauty with pastel sticks is the vibrancy of color and their opacity. Okay, so they're not necessary. You don't have to have them. You only really have to have two things, pencils and paper. But if you want to buy more supplies, I'll show you their advantages and disadvantages. So pastel sticks, there's lots of different companies out there. And my favorite one is not this one in particularly, it's um, Rembrandt or Jackson's own brand. Either of those two I really like because they are, once again, quite firm. I'd rather the firm pastels. I'm not a great fan of really soft pastels because they can just go on the paper surface and fill the tooth very quickly if you're not careful. So sticks, as I said, round about the size perhaps of your little finger. I like to snap them in half because they're more manageable when they're smaller and they come in a really vast array of colours. Their use for me in particular is doing backgrounds and flat colored backgrounds. So let's suppose you're doing something like a duckling and the background needs to be a kind of blue, let's say sky blue. You can see how some of them are quite brittle. Um, then you can use a stick and you're gonna get that color flat over all of it. And by flat, I mean, you won't see the paper through it because sticks are very, very opaque. They're much more opaque than pan pastels and that's my main use for them but you can also use them as an underlayer and you can even use your pastel tools your pan pastel tools to blend these out and i show that especially in some of my videos so you can see how that works once again this is kind of like an additional supply if you want to buy something because i know lots of artists like to collect then pastel sticks they're really good addition and i would recommend the Rembrandt brand is my top pick and then Jack Jackson's own brand, that's Jackson's Art Supplies own brand as my second pick.